anymore. It's also possible that dying my vacation won't die. Which this time my vacation won't die. Okay, maybe. Interestingly, that puts me back at square one. My winning streak will be over before I really begin. But the corpse photo has no effect. Oh, yeah. Maybe a mental note to discard the burner phone when I get home. I somehow forget to get rid of my own way to work, being so absolutely being so absorbed in strict morning routine. But it's not too late. Barely 24 hours have passed since I sent out the photo. I'm not found. I'm not straying too far from my photos of Ronda. Yo, you came, Matt. Go. Oh. That familiar, halting voice taps me on my side. Jojo, stands before me, wearing slightly cleaner clothes than the last time. It's very possible that he interrupted this meetup as a stage, uh, interpreted this meetup as a stage, and decided to wear his absolute best outfit. Well, at least it's here. Get information now. <laughs> the smell of war is only faint upon him, thanks to the desperate cover up scent of strange blood. <laughs> I said, please. Nope. And Gojo pulls up a chair, sits across from me. He's relaxed and awkward all at once. <laughs> hey, that's uh, it's better than that, man. <laughs> He's tall, lank uh, tall, uh, lanky from form doesn't really seem to fit uh, fit in with a tiny. Cozy, comfy cafe. He selected as our meeting point. Waiting long? No, not really. Nope. Oh. Great. Ordered yet? No. What do you recommend? House blend. Fantastic. They roast it here. Cool. Also, the chocolate gato is amazing. Let me know. I'll order two slices. Thank you, but I'm not hungry. Coffee is fine. Roger that. The waitress eventually comes around, and Kodro places our order and fluent French. Go! Oh, that's the later. I think the waitress is taken aback as she bows slightly and and humbly asked him to repeat himself in Japanese. Once our order is selected, it is settled. Kodro leans forward and looks into my eyes. You wear glasses? Fuck, he knows! <laughs> I subconsciously reach a hand to my face, check if I am indeed wearing glasses. Of course I'm not. No? Why would you say that? Kodro leans back to casually and shrug. Didn't remember. Maybe you had them on last time. Maybe. Last time he refrained. He was referring to his neck at the library. I've never worn glasses. Sorry. Fair enough. <laughs> Don't be sorry. Just make the conversation. Oh, nope. this place is great, right? It's true that the cafes possess a quite comfortable atmosphere. The smell of freshly roasted coffee lingers in the air, and the display of uh, a, a, a various cakes at the front counter doesn't make me 
you. Oh. I can make out the faint sound of uh, acoustic music in the background with vocals and what I presume to be friends. I can't hear, so I would never know. All in all, nice play. Road road goes well. Oh, uh, is this place expensive? I just don't have much money, that's all. Don't worry, it's on me. Oh! How's work? <laughs> the bank, right? I cocked my head to the side. I did it. Did I ever tell him what I do for work? I don't recall saying anything on that subject. Well, I'm guessing he's kind of guessing my general attire. And... What else? I have to go with, like, maybe general attire. Um, or, okay. I work at the head office for Temujin. Not in an actual bank. Oh. That's so. Huh. Read your profile wrong. Ah, so you use social media. Well played. Other way to get info. <laughs> I relax somewhat. As at his explanation. Of course, he would have read my noise profile before meeting before meeting up with me. That's pretty normal. Well, in a sense. I don't keep much personal information on there, but it's true that my workplace is listed. Our conversation is on hold as the waitress returns with two cups of coffee and a single slice of cacao. Uh, uh, I don't know what. The cake is delicious and moist and moist uh, and my stomach proud trail of, the co of my co conviction. Gojiro thinks the race is friend, and she once again goes in embarrassment and takes her leave. A bite? Fair enough. <laughs> he scoops up a slice, a section of the cake, with a fork. Hold it up to me. I wave my hand slightly and shake my head. Oh well. He takes the bite. He takes a bite and looks at me intensely, satisfied. The choice of dessert. Could eat if you wanted. Your skin and bones. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Excuse me. Just saying. Could stand to gain some weight. Ah, uh, the nerve of him. Who would say that to a young woman? <laughs> well, when you're stuck in the morgue, <laughs> you can figure some of this stuff out just by looking, I'm guessing. I'll have you know that I eat perfectly well. Think... Whoa. Sorry. I wasn't trying to be mean. You're gorgeous. Just saying. Some cake wouldn't hurt. Okay. <laughs> <I'm> gorgeous? <laughs> I feel a little flustered and make and look down at my phone. Boy Kodro is on his way. Try the coffee, please. The coffee? Yes. I reach for the cup in front of me. More due to pleasant aroma than Kodro's suggestion. Take a sip. It's been served at a perfect drinking temperature. And it's absolutely delightful, rich, and delicate. I couldn't drink this all I could drink this all day. I I've I've probably been way my time drinking canned coffee. This is the real deal. Oh, no. no. Thoughts? For the first time since Coach arrived, I smiled. It's wonderful. 
after all the king after almost killing Kojiro over here. Right? I like your smile. Ooh, he's bringing out the compliment. This guy is really laying it on thick. It ain't just come here to be spooned in until the praise is kind tonight. Even if it just trying to play me with the oldest lines in the book. I figure I should switch the subject to encourage you. Stop flirting. <laughs> Who knows? He could turn around and flirt again. <laughs> so, how long have you worked in the morgue? Hmm. Wow. Good question. Well, when you're kind of gunned into solitude in one spot, you gotta forget how long it's been. Okay. Let's see. I'm 34 now. Started there at 22. Oh. Huh. About 12 years. Damn. 12 years. Ah, never thought about it. <laughs> I wasn't that far off once you are in solitude. You can't forget about it. Shit, I'm old. <laughs> what you talking about, man? No, not at all. You're older than I expected, but really, it's no big deal. How old are you? Can I ask that? I don't mind. I'm 20. Oh. No. You. Okay. Right. <laughs> Why, you thought she was going to be a hell of a lot younger? Is that an issue? No, of course not. You're mature for your age. Or I'm out of touch. <laughs> or it could be both. <laughs> You're out of touch. I can't help but giggle. Wow. Okay. It must be the night shift, man. Oh, those can take a fucking toll, man. I know that I've done night shift, bro. <laughs> it can, it actually can kind of take a little bit of a toll. Because <laughs> you have everything set up and help. He laughs it off. But I wonder if he did hit it, if I hit, hit him there. Would you date an older guy? And there it is. Great the point. How do I answer that How do I answer a question like that? Good question. I've got no issue with age, but I don't really know if you're my type. Hey, as long as they're legal age, that's all that matters. As long as they're legal. <laughs> and if I can be honest, there is someone I have feelings for already. That's so. Unrequited love, huh? Something like that. Hmm. Rob's can't compete with that. Fair enough. Yeah. Could be really hard to do that anyways. Well, that's okay. You're stunning. Out of my league. Thrilled to be friends if nothing else. Fair enough. Friends sounds nice. Mad. <laughs> oh. He raises his cuff. Toad. Then it raises to take a sip. Maybe I had him wrong. He might be a bit more mature than I gave him credit for. If he if he can take rejection without great pressing the point, that speaks a lot about his character. So, corpse girl. Interesting, right? How does she do it? That's a good question. The photos, the killings, all without knowing the Vic's name. <laughs> yeah. I wonder what her death count is. Three, four, I'm lucky. I try not to say this aloud. Eichi Hanada. Car crash. Was it planned? Got the brake line, drugged. Hmm. It could be a mix. Oh. I have no idea. Sorry. Uh, but you requested his death. Uh, yes. I did lead him to believe that. I have to continue on, go along with it. 
And for no personal reason? That's right. Brutal. Don't request my death, okay? Fair enough. <laughs> we'll see. Space light stuff. I'm not that them. I'm impressed with me. Who is the um, ambitious, fanciful, excited, excited even? Maybe I should try the sight. Request a death. Know anyone who deserves it? <laughs> Sorry, not off the top of my head. Hmm. Me neither. Now we know. This is gonna make the. This is gonna get even more amusing. Maybe you should request me. I'm dying to know how it goes down. Ooh. You know, maybe you shouldn't mess with this stuff. What if you really ended up dead? Eh. I can protect myself. I mainly want a corpse photo. How does she do it? Oh, by the way, you read that book I gave you? Ooh. You mean Strange Flower? Bingo. Oh yeah, you did. did pick that one out. But from here, I think it's the best time to end the episode here. Uh, well, you want? I want to know what happens next episode. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, man, hopefully you guys have a great, well, Sam, and a great day, too. Like, question. Uh, next, we're gonna do, what the heck we're trying to do. Ah, I'll see you guys next time.